So last year we did um, four animations using um, the dogs, which have now become synonymous, I think, in Salford. And interestingly, last year actually we weren't targeted with doing any young people. The campaign was very much aimed at adults. But interestingly, quite a lot of young people have picked up on the animations, so this year that became one of our target groups. And that was to produce four more animations and a DVD that could be used as a training tool or a, a piece of information that could go around schools. Remember the first drag of a cig? Couldn't stop coughing. You were a young one, didn't think you'd smoke anything. I'd like a bowl cut like. Nah. I remember. Not me. I remember the Weren't first one cig I had with you. Serious. First one ever. This year we wanted to make the animations a little bit more interesting. Last year they were very much straightforward concepts um, of dogs being in very clearly Salford locations, famous Salford locations. And this time it was more about actually getting underneath the issues for young people and smoking. Yo, Sheba! <laughs> Sick, mate. <laughs> Sick! So we worked with about 40 young people. Um, we went into colleges to interview young kids. We went into schools. We went into um, some of the youth centres. And I also used my son and his uh, school friends. And what we do is get very frank and open conversations with them about why they started smoking, what they thought the issues were with smoking and would they try and give up. Um, everything that you hear on the animations this year is word for word what those young people said. We've not adapted it, we've not changed it. It was very much about if we're going to reach out to young people then it has to be in their language, exactly as they say it and exactly as they present what they think the issues are. What you do, if all your mates smoke and you're just stood there and you're just bored, you just think, you know what? Go for it. Drag it at me. Mm. Stops you from being bored. There's nothing you can just go out and do. Do you know what I mean? Nothing at all. The bedroom that we actually shot it in is my teenage son's bedroom. And actually is as it was on the day we went in to film it with empty pot noodle pots, crisp wrappers. So it was very much about, you know, being in their world. Um, the kinds of conversations that young people have. How they have them. The language they use. But what was interesting was taking it out of context of where the interviews had taken place and then dropping them into these cartoon characters so that we raised a laugh, which is what we wanted to do. But in doing that, it made people look a little bit more closely about what they were actually saying. <coughs> <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> sick. Um, and I'm also pleased that we're able to work with local people to produce content that's for them. You know, there's nothing worse, and certainly when you, you go around schools, is having somebody come in and tell you how it should be, or this is what we want, and this is good, and that's not. And actually, all you need to do is engage with that group and, and let them decide what it is they want to say. And during that process of that co-production process, they'll they'll get the message anyway. So for the 40 people that worked with us on it, they were starting to question themselves even before the end products were available. So that was good.